Hey everyone, Steph here from Old Guy Melts Plastic. So I've been doing a bit more work on my uh, Voron V2.4 uh, R2 build. Originally it was uh, built from a Formbot 350 millimeter kit and uh, I've since applied you know, a number of upgrades. I've recently been going about reprinting all of the original black and um, brown or gold, it's actually copper, um, plastic parts um, in my new colors of sky blue and purple. So uh, let's do a quick tour of the printer and I'll kind of go through all the different uh, upgrades and things that I've changed on it uh, compared to stock. So uh, starting down below, so um, these are still the original Voron V2 parts um, below the deck. However, I did print the skirts with a mesh background in my other color, so I have that, that two-tone effect. Um, the original display has been replaced with the um, BTT Pi uh, TFT50, so it's a 5-inch display. And that just makes uh, controlling the printer um, a little easier when you're sitting right in front of it. Um, moving above the deck at this point, uh, we have uh, Z-cover plates um, that hold, block most of the Z-belt uh, hole uh, down here on the right. And then we have um, bed fans that help to move the air um, around the inside of the frame. The Nevermore, which I still haven't reprinted yet, this is the Nevermore Dual uh, Duo V5. Um, I'll be reprinting it uh, either this model or I might even upgrade to the 6, although I'm still on the fence about that. Um, so that's the basically last piece I still have left to reprint in my new colors. Uh, again, with another bed fan installed here. I do have a Pi camera, which I use for time lapses. And so that ribbon cable runs uh, between uh, the deck plate and the extrusion into the electronics bay below into my Pi. Um, I have installed the Ramalama 2 um, front idlers on both sides. So happy with those. Let's have a look at the gantry. So we have the titanium uh, backers on the Y extrusions. And I've also put the uh, one on the X extrusion on the top um, for reasons. It's maybe not right, although some people have argued the, uh, you know, the difference between whether it's on the top or the bottom may not really matter. Um, feel free to post in the comments if you have a strong opinion on this one way or the other. On the tool head itself, we have uh, the Rapid Burner, which I have paired with a Rapido UHF um, hot end and the Rapido, uh, it's a UHF Plus. And the Rapido UHF Plus uh, has a Bontech CHT 0.4 millimeter volcano nozzle in it. Um, it is running with Honey Badger fans for both part cooling and hot end cooling. And on top of the hot end, uh, the uh, tool head, we have the uh, Annex Engineering Sherpa Mini. And that is connected via CAN bus. Um, using the uh, EBB36 CAN bus board, which we have there. And the PCB plate is uh, a bit of a mix. I took uh, a PCB plate that was designed by Chirpy and I modded in a PG7 gland uh, thread so I could add that. We have the uh, umbilical cable running from the tool head to the back of the A motor mount. Um, I've also installed here at the front a uh, key back or badge retractor to support the umbilical wire so it doesn't sag down below the gantry. Uh, towards the back I have the uh, Y end stop. I am running with physical end stops for both X and Y. There's one down here. You can just see it there behind the tool head and then the Y end stop on the A motor mount. Um, so the uh, gantry here is supported by the CNC XY joints, which I ordered from AliExpress through Funsor. So thank you to them for those. Um, I also have the CNC AB motor mounts also from Funsor. So thanks again. Um, the plastic parts you see on the A motor mount here were designed by the Voron Modder. 
uh, specifically for this. It was a custom build for me, so thank you for that. Although I think he shared those files up on printables as well. Over behind here, we have uh, at the top, we have a um, chamber thermistor, which I've just mounted there on the top of the rear extrusion. I have moved the, sorry about that. I have moved the uh, cable chain to uh, basically mount underneath the rear extrusion. Um, so that is available on printables as well. I'll provide links to all these in the description of the video. One of the first mods that I ever installed on this printer was uh, Edward Yeek's Decontaminator. So that's the scrub brush and bucket, purge bucket that you see there at the back of the printer. Um, probably the single most useful mod I've ever installed on these printers. And then let's see, up top here we have a um, support arm for the Bowden tube and I've replaced the exhaust fan in the back with um, just a plate to block the block the access there. I do have a toolless um, Z-belt tensioners installed and I've installed some LED strips along the top as well. So outside of the printer, uh, one thing that a few people have commented on recently are these panel clips. Uh, they are originally an Anlin design from the Annex Engineering Group and they're used on most of their, or variations of them are used on most of the Annex Engineering printers in their stock configurations. So I just wanted to give you a quick demonstration of how easy it is to use. And what you won't get from this is the very tactile sensation you get from twisting this key. It feels very loose. And then as the key enters the uh, slot of the extrusion, it tightens right up and you get a very tactile sense that it's locked in place. So to remove these clips, the corner clips, you just basically release the keys. And for the side panels, I tend to leave the bottom clips in place. And then I can just slide the side panel out and remove it if I need to for printing. There's a roll of paper towels there, but if I need to remove the panels for printing PLA or other materials, I can do that very easily. And then when I want to put them back, because I've left those bottom clips in place, I can use them to guide the panel into position, give it a bit of a firm push, and then quite simply put these top clips back in place and lock the keys. So um, it's a matter of a few seconds to remove, to remove each of the panels. Uh, for this 350 millimeter build, I find that uh, a corner clip in each corner and one clip in the middle of each edge is sufficient. So I'm printing four corner clips and four um, middle clips uh, for each side of the printer. And um, in my case, I have all of the panels are three millimeter thick uh, polycarbonate, and I've uh, added some three millimeter foam tape to the backside of the panel so they have a bit of squish. The clips I've printed are uh, 5.5 millimeter clips. So um, because there's foam tape there, it allows the, um, the clips to actually compress the foam tape a little bit and give it a slightly tighter seal. Um, and that's basically it. Uh, oh yeah, incoming. So <laughs> the front panel here is not on the printer at the moment because I have a new six millimeter thick polycarbonate panel, uh, door panel that's coming from Mandela Roseworks. Um, it is um, something that was designed, I guess, by the, it's a basically a copy of the uh, Annex Engineering K2 single panel door. So instead of two panel, two door panels that'll open from the center, it's gonna be one large door panel that'll open this way. So it does mean I'll need a bit more clearance in front of the printer in order to open the door all the way. But these are very beefy. They're held in by uh, M5 bolts and um, they do require that the panels have uh, screw holes drilled into them and some cutouts for these clips but uh, that'll result in a six millimeter polycarbonate door plus three millimeters of foam on these very beefy hinges. And they're not quite 270 degree, but they're really close. So you can see that the panel will open up almost to 270 degrees there. And between the three on this side, um, there should be plenty to support that panel and make it nice and firm and uh, 
a good seal all around. Um, there will be magnet catches that will go in these corners on the opposite end of the door in order to um, secure the door in place and hold it in place while printing. Um, I haven't printed out the magnet holders yet. Um, the door panel is supposed to be arriving probably in the next day or two, so I'm waiting for that to happen. Sorry, I'm a little bit out of breath here. All right, so that's a tour of the printer. Um, post your questions or comments uh, below, and uh, I look forward to uh, giving you an update once the new door panel arrives. Have a good one.